Often, health care is viewed as a one-size-fits-all situation. The National Institutes of Health says women, people of color, the elderly, and those with disabilities are not always included in medical research. It's one reason why this week you can get some services for free thanks to a medical research program. New this morning, Ryan Catani shows us how the program is making a stop in East Knoxville and hoping to help as many people as possible. Good morning, everybody. Right now we are inside the All of Us Mobile exhibit, and I am here with Edgar Heal. He's with the National Alliance for Hispanic Health. So, Edgar, tell us a little bit about why you've decided to make this stop here in Knoxville this week. Thank you so much. Um, this week we're in Knoxville because the national tour is going to all the communities that hasn't been representing health research. So we're traveling the country, rural areas, small communities that probably never have the opportunity to participate in these kind of programs. So the tour is a way how to bring the program to them. It's an online program. You can sign up from the comfort of your house. But the idea is that you can come visit us when you visit the zoo, stop by and see what the program is about. What we're trying to do here is to change how in the future medicine treatments are being developed so they can be tailored to each individual needs. Because you had mentioned earlier, right now, medicine is kind of a one-size-fits-all, but it shouldn't be that way. Can you explain why that is? Well, one example is, uh, let's talk about prescription glasses, right? That's a perfect example of what precision medicine is. It's not that you forgot your glasses today and I can say, hey, here, wear mine, right? It won't work. Why? The prescription, the measurements, everything that they did was specific for the needs that I have. And we want all medicine in the future to be like that. All right, wonderful. So this exhibit is here until Friday, but like Edgar said, you can go online or you can visit Cherokee Health after it leaves the Zoo Knoxville. Right now we're in the parking lot of the zoo um, and you can check it out that way as well. For now, I'll go ahead and send things back to you. Thank All right, you, Raya. We the mobile exhibit it. will be stationed at the Zoo Knoxville parking lot today and tomorrow from 10 to 5. Kind of cool. If you can't make it there, just visit joinallus.org or go to any Cherokee Health System location.